If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, it looks like perhaps the largest gaming streamer who is relatively apolitical just stepped on perhaps the biggest landmine in uh, modern content creation. And that is, of course, having an opinion that you don't care about what's going on between two countries that are not America. Quite frankly, Asmongold is one of the largest streamers on the internet. He, I would say in general, is a liberal type of guy who also just doesn't like a lot of like kind of woke nonsense. So he often gets lumped in with conservatives, but I don't think he's a conservative. He may be a guy who's similar in politics to me, who is still pretty liberal about things, but is going to vote for Trump. I don't know. But he went on a two minute rant about not essentially not caring about, you know, Israel taking on its enemy, whether it's Hamas or anyone else, based on their culture. And uh, the woke left is absolutely eating him alive and already forced him to apologize, which anyone with a brain could have seen coming because this guy makes millions of dollars a month on Twitch and relies on their platform. Many people are calling for a full platform ban for his statement, which we're going to take a look at. Obviously, they would because these idiots sit at home and do nothing with their lives and uh, are armchair activists, and they all they know how to do is censor and ban people who they disagree with. But uh, this is wild. I also want to give a huge shout out. Anybody who's a gamer out there or looking for a new computer, people often ask me which one I use. Well, I've used exclusively Meta PCs, both desktops and laptops in my household for the last, I don't know, three, four, five years. At this point, they have a bunch of pre-built options for people to look at. You can also build your entire computer from the ground up for people that like to do that. They have uh, financing. They have all sorts of other stuff on their website. They have laptops. Promo code the quartering to save. This is a company that doesn't care about cancel culture and generally stays out of politics. That's why I've partnered with them. That's why I like working with them. Meta PCs, promo code the quartering one word to save. Or link will be in the description below. Let's get to the actual statement. Uh, obviously, people who are uh, of Palestinian descent or Muslim descent or whatever the case may be, they're very, very angry about what Asmogol has to say. There's some nuance here uh, that uh, he just goes bull in a China shop on. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. He's correct. This is one of the most inconvenient truths about that faith uh, that the left continues to ignore, that uh, true believers believe in. They believe in there is only one true God, one true religion, and that, you know, there is... I think that the overwhelming majority of Muslim people are fine people and are good people, law-abiding citizens who uh, don't take their religious text literally. Um, the same could be true for, you know, I'm not an expert in religions, right? But you could probably say the same thing um, of, you know, C Christians and the Bible. There are probably things in the Bible that most people who are Christian or Catholic don't take 100% literally. However, there are people in the Muslim community that do take what the uh, Quran says, 100%, literally. They do throw LGBTQ people off, off roofs. They do uh, believe in martyrdom. They do believe in uh, you know, all, all of the things you see them do. There's only one religion that's going into uh, you know, groups of people and, and, and blowing themselves up. Okay, So we can acknowledge that there is a radical side of this religion without painting the entire swath of people uh, in a negative light. 
Uh, I am sure I have Muslim people that watch me. I'm sure I have Christian Catholic people that watch me. I don't believe that because you are Muslim that you inherently are worse, uh, you know, anything like that. Um, but there is a section of that faith that is radical. Just look at, you know, there is a group of people that all seem to be of the same culture and faith that do all these knife attacks. Okay. They're not Christians doing that. Now the Christians have done some terrible things. Okay. But I'm just saying there are cultures, cultures, some cultures, some sections of some cultures are better than others. Um, I don't, I think that there are, I'm certain there are Muslim people that uh, integrate with the West. Um, fine. But there are also the radical sect of this group of people that not only don't have any interest in at all in assimilating or you know integrating with the West, but they are actively engaged in overthrowing it and destroying it. This is a very real part of this faith that is practiced by millions of people across this universe. But I don't think just because someone is Muslim that they embody every single aspect of maybe Sharia law and things like that. But what what triggers people so much is that what he's saying is true. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws it are is. getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible Pardon his people. language. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. Now he's, I think, again, this is what happens when you live stream or even when I do like one take stuff. You don't get a lot of nuance there. I assume he's talking about like Hamas. He's not talking about your average family that practice that f the Muslim faith. He's talking about Terry's. That's who he's talking about. So all these people, like this Capri Sun Poppy who's filling his diaper about it, like he's probably not talking about him. They'd be doing the same thing. Hmm. How much did they kill? As many as they can. That's correct. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. That's correct. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. 100% correct. 100% correct. This is a very... The reason that they are reacting so viscerally negative, um, so aggressively, is because he's right. If Hamas had the technology that Israel does, they'd be firing those things into their capital city every day. Don't act like they wouldn't. So the woke left, and again, I'm talking about Hamas, not all Muslims, okay? I guarantee you there are Muslims that disavow Hamas. I hope, right? Just like I would hope Christians would disavow if there was some radical sect of Christianity, okay? But... This destroys the victimhood narrative. That's the issue, is that the woke left, who wouldn't have any idea, wouldn't have any idea what to do if they were airdropped into Palestine. They want everyone to believe that Israel is just going after women and children and hospitals. Well, maybe you shouldn't let, maybe you shouldn't let Hamas put all their weapon stashes in hospitals. Maybe you shouldn't let them use you as human shields. I get it. I live in America. I live in, you know, nobody's taking over my house. There's, you know, I get it. I, I, I don't have to deal with what these people have to deal with. They, I'm talking about the innocent civilians in Palestine, for example. Okay? I get it. I feel for them. But to act like, you know, th most of these weirdos, do not want to distinguish the difference between Hamas and the citizens because deep down they believe in what Hamas is doing. Deep down they hate Jews. People like Hassan Piker will candy coat it all day long, but he believes in what Hamas is doing 100%. And he doesn't care if, they, if civilians on Israeli side get hurt either. So what Asmongold is clearly saying is both sides want to kill each other. I don't care. Nothing wrong with that. I 100% believe that is treasonous. 
that the United States government is buying bombs for Israel and stealing my money to buy bombs for Israel and then stealing my money again to fix where they blow up in Lebanon. That is treasonous. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They, they are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that yep. is horrible. It kills people for their identity and is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. He's 100% right. Now, what he's talking about is radical Muslims, not all Muslims. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't... I, I, I mean... Where is the lie? That's why everyone's getting really mad. Now, of course, he got immediately pushed to apologize. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an a-hole about the Palestine thing. No, he wasn't. He was right. And he apologized. And everybody in the replies is not forgetting their apology. Oh, Palestine flag. Oh, you're not allowed to speak about us. These people will embrace you and give you lots of super chats and tips and sub money if you just agree with them politically. The second you challenge them politically on their religion, and by the way, none of these people are actually from Palestine. Less than 1% of the idiots on Twitter who are getting their undies in a bundle about this, about this have never been to Palestine. They don't know any Palestinians. They don't know anything about what anything but what Hassan Piker has told them. Okay. Now they want, you know, Aiden Ross wonders why Twitch didn't ban Asmongold for talking bad about Palestine. You see, I mean, there are people that are boycotting his PC company. Uh, you see this. Where is this one? Yeah. Detective Seeds Platinum. I'm no longer a partner with Starforge. I've requested that my code be removed. So a lot of people said that this guy had was issued in some... I don't know if it was him uh, or not. But you see all this stuff. A hundred Jewish partners, pa Jewish companies are now partnered with Asmongold. So is this guy a pro-Palestine guy or is he an anti-Jew? Right? I don't care. I know that there are people in my audience that have negative opinions on Jewish people that are, are in my opinion, um, not necessarily, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, there, there are people out there who are anti-Semitic. That exists, okay? I, I, there are people that just hate Jews uh, for being Jewish, and that's wrong, okay? If you want to have a problem with what their government does or Zionism or this, that, and the other thing, that's a different conversation. But this idea that people are just shielding their hate for Jews in, in being pro-Palestine, right? That's, that's the reality. A lot of these people are actually just anti-Israel or anti-Jew, and they're just caping it in being pro-Palestine. None of these people, I mean, if you have legitimate issues with Israel, I understand. I said, like I've always said, I know one Jewish person, and we never talk about Jew stuff, okay? We shoot darts, okay? Um, I don't want America to be giving Israel any money. I don't want to be paying for the, the bombs that the blow up in Lebanon either. That's where my interest starts and finishes with Israel. America has 100,000 people a year overdosing. We have a mental health crisis in this country. We have immigrants. We are being invaded on our southern border. Um, the list goes on and on and on that of problems that America has that uh, billions of dollars that we send to Ukraine and Israel and Lebanon and everywhere else could be uh, ex you know, used to fix. And I think that's what Asmongold is actually promoting here. Um, the idea that all these people are just, oh, free Palestine. Just say you hate Jews, okay? Because that's a huge section of it. Now, I, am I excusing every little thing that Israel does? No, I don't want any part of what Israel does. I think everything that they're doing, I don't care about it. Okay? If they are getting bombed and they're sending bombs back, I got nothing to say about it. All right? I got nothing to say. I don't want to pay for it. That's where my opinion starts and finishes. And I wish more people agreed with that. Uh, good luck, Asmogol, with your gigantic boycott. I suspect a ban is incoming. I suspect these people will make his life a living hell, even though he apologized. That's what the left does. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, subscribe or follow down below. Remember to check out MetaPC's promo code the quartering. If you're looking for a new PC, you can even get my... My exact computer is actually on here. This is what I'm on right now. Um, but if you're not a lunatic...
you can get some of the ready to ship PCs or you can customize it. Hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you again real soon.